yeah, yeah, we back, you know what it is, baby, PlayStation 3 time, and we about to go in, we about to go in, alright, now check this out, right, PlayStation 3, now, I know we've been going back and forth with the whole Valve situation, but I'm gonna bring something to you, right, and this is like crazy to me, because I was like, oh, you serious, well, actually, wor word is this, Sony is actually offering their help to Valve to start bringing games to the PS3. Sony actually offered their help in terms of development because that was one of the reasons why Valve was being held back. They didn't want to touch the cell, this and that. Sony's, Sony actually is offering their help to make sure Valve throws some games on the PlayStation 3. Seriously. Now, I'm going to bring something else to your attention, right? Sony has been out selling Xbox 360, but aside from that, Sony themselves as a business has been doing so much better. You know what I mean? And in terms of return return on investment for a lot of game companies, a lot of game developers, they are seeing that. But the main thing was how far the system can go in terms of, you know, next gen development. Developers are really starting to see the progression year over year that Sony has done that no other system is being able to compete with. Like, you know, they can't compete with Sony on that level right now. Okay? So, the thing that I thought was pretty interesting is how they decided to at least take a look at it. You know what I mean? In terms of, like, Sony was like, okay, look. This is the PS3. This cell processor will be willing to work with you. You know what I mean? In order to bring some games over here. Now, I was like, wow, what games could it be? Well, it's not Left 4 Dead or anything like that. But don't be surprised if the next Half-Life won't only be on Xbox 360 and PC. Uh, sorry, PC. Alright? Now, whether it's Half-Life or any game, whatever Valve is working on, Sony actually offered their help. As well as offering their help to Valve. There's no guarantees, but let me ask you a question. Once Sony is involved with Valve to bring games to the PS3 and make them good, I don't mean bad ports, I mean make them good, how will that change Sony's library of games right now? Like, how will, you know, it enhance it? And will other developers, you know, that probably had the same type of feeling towards the PS3 and, and working on the cell, will that change them as well? So leave your comments and let me know what you think about that, because truthfully, I think that's crazy. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is Yakuza. Yakuza? Oh my God. Check this out. This is one of those games that's like the Grand Theft Auto of Japan. All right? Yakuza is crazy, right? Now, to my knowledge... Word, word is, Yakuza is actually supposed to be coming to the States, so you don't guys don't have to import it. So Yakuza, next year, is supposed to be hitting the States, I believe, in April. April of 2010, Yakuza 4, I think it is. Yakuza 4 is supposed to be coming to the PS3 in the States, yo. That right there is going to be huge, it's going to be big, and for you guys that's not familiar with this game, get to know it. Because if you love Grand Theft Auto, this joint it just takes it to a whole new level. This joint is real street, it's real game, it's, it's real game related, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you ever go to Japan or something like that, and and you see all the different type of games that they got out there, and all the moves they be doing, oh my god, it will blow you away. So Yakuza, pay attention to that game, that game is fire. Now the next thing I want to say is this. Final Fantasy VII, the remake, everyone has been talking about it, but... Developers kept pushing it out, saying it's not coming, everything, right? Well, check this out. If this don't happen, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be pissed because I got so, so, more than one person, like, yeah, more than one person. I'm about to say, I thought it was two or three, but more than one person said this to me, and they said that currently right now they're working on a remastered version of Final Fantasy 7 for the PS3 a remastered version and everything so I'm not sure what's supposed to come with it but all I know is the original game remastered in 1080p high definition Final Fantasy 7 so if the remake don't come at least we could get the remastered version that right there will be sick that would be crazy. Now, let me ask you guys a question. Final Fantasy VII Remastered, right? What type of impact do you guys feel 
that Final Fantasy VII Remastered will have in the industry. The reason why is because one is not the remake, you know. So that that right there put a damper on it. But the fact that it's being remastered, there's a lot of people, like like a lot of newcomers to the RPG world that might not like that turn base like how it was back in the day. So do you feel they will be as effective or will the fans that supported before just be the only people to get it? Do you think it'll grow the market a little bit? You know what I mean? So please leave your comments, let me know what you think. But Final Fantasy 7, PlayStation 1, remastered PS3 to Navy P blow you away, alright, so, one love, God bless, we about to step into the general news, but before we go into the general news, I want to give a shout out to Capcom, my man Seth, had a great interview, so stay tuned and check this out, then we gonna come in with the general news, then we gonna go into gamers in the street, and trust me, I got a dark void interview that you gonna be blown away by, alright, so, catch you later, peace. Yo, Seth, what's poppin', man? Show me something, man. Where you at? So, oh, what's up? We have the interference, but that's cool. It's <laughs> like that. Yo, it's your boy, the hip hop gamer. I'm with my man Seth. We about to take a look at Tats Tatsunoko. Hopefully, I said that right. Tatsunoko, Tatsunoko versus Capcom, which is an amazing game. And we're gonna talk about Dead Rising. I got the belt right now, but he's really the champion, and we're gonna find out why. So let me walk around so we can get the better view. Check this out. Now, the most amazing thing so far in this game is the way the button scheme is. You know, very reminiscent of Marvel vs. Capcom. But a lot of people are real technical and they want their kicks, they want all these, you know, buttons. But you only got three buttons you got to use and the game is still amazing. How did you guys do that? It took a lot of time, frankly. And when I heard about the three button thing, I was like, nah. Like, I play a lot of Street Fighter, like, I'm not into it. And my, just my challenge on Tatsunoko. If three buttons are, this sounds like it's no good for you. Play the game for one minute. If you're not having fun, you feel like it's awkward, no problem. All right. But you're going to like it. You, t you tell them what yeah. you thought. Now, truthfully, this is the hip-hop game of talking. I'm telling you straight up, right? First of all, they was about to give me the Wii's, like the Wiimote, and I was like, no. Like, not on this game. No, it ain't working. So we got the joystick, and what's so crazy about it is I don't even like playing with arcade sticks. In 30 seconds, he said, here, try this. Try this with Ryu. I did the fireball. I did the hurricane kick. First try doing it. Joe, you guys, this is amazing. And considering a lot of people don't understand that, you know, the Wii do got hardcore games, but it's like overshadowed by the friend, happy family type of thing. This game will whip your ass. You really need to check it out. It blew me away. Now, you you do have the assistance, you know what I mean? So tell me how does that work in terms of, you know, the combos and, and the combination when you have the team games. It's completely free-flowing. So if you play Marvel 2 before, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, this game is really a very similar system. So it's two on two, you and a partner. You can call in the partner at any time. They can do an assist. You can tag them out. You can call them in in the middle of a combo. But it's got one of the most flexible combo systems you'll ever see. There's a million things you can do. It's totally over the top. Over the top fun. It's like Marvel on crack. All right, now, I'm a, <laughs> I like that. It's like Marvel on crack. Now, I'll tell you right now. I was playing against him. He turned into a giant robot dog and started beating me down, man. Like, like he was mad at me about something. Like, I don't know. Like, it was crazy. But the game is amazing so all I gotta say is congratulations on being able to make the Wii what everybody else wanted to be instead of just family friends something hardcore I mean look look at this man you see Chun Lee whipping ass this is what you need to get on the Wii so another game that we're gonna talk about is Dead Rising now before we move to Dead Rising what's one thing you would say about um Capcom well, that's a note code. What would you say to all the fans out there? One thing you would say that would make them really want to go out and grab this game? If you love Marvel, this game is where it's at. This game is basically the new Marvel. It's 3D. looks beautiful. If you've got a Wii, this is the only fighting game in town, but it's also mm. one of the best. So if you don't have a Wii, you're going to get one. Because wow. you're going to need it. You're going to need it because your boys are going to be playing Tatsunoko versus Capcom. And truthfully, you're not limited to just you know the Wii mode. You could use the, um, the arcade stick, which is a great feel, so you don't have to be limited. This game is crazy. Now, we're going to move into Dead Rising 2. Now, this is where I pass the belt off. Yo, Seth, there you go, baby. Whoa, there you go. And you got to give it a spin, son. You got to give it a spin, son. Gangster, that's what I'm talking about. Let me tell you guys right now, Dead Rising 2 will blow 
you the hell away. That's how hot it is. First things first, graphics. It's like night and day. Now, Dead Rising 1 had a lot of texture popping problems.